I am now going to show you a demo of how do you read one character at a time from the keyboard using the getCar function. So I have defined an array called name whose width is 1000 characters. I will tell you why I have defined i as an integer. What I have done is I have declared a pointer to a character type of data so that this pointer can contain the address of this array of characters. Suppose this array of characters starts at 1000th location, PTR is going to contain 1000 and star PTR is going to give you value at address 1000. Let us say I ask you to enter a line of text. Let us say I enter demo space reading. So what is going to happen is when I enter D, this get care is going to get one character capital D from the keyboard. Now the return type of this get care function happens to be an integer. That's why I have defined I as an integer because ultimately all ASCII characters are represented as integers internally. So suppose it is capital D, ASCII value is probably going to be 67, 68. It's going to be I is going to be 68. Now this 68 is compared with whether it's equal to the enter key. Since 68 is not equal to the enter key, the value of I which is happened to be 68 is stored in the zeroth location of this name array. Pointer is increased by one. So pointer points now to the first location of the array. Now when I enter E, E is again ASCII value is not equal to backslash N. So in the first location E is copied. Then pointer is increased by one so that now I refer to the second location of this name array. Now this way this entire line whatever I enter is going to get read. The minute I press the enter key, this while loop will fail. And when I come out, it is my job at the end of the string to put a null character so that whatever line of text I have read terminates correctly. And then I can simply print the line of the text as printf percentage as name. So whatever text I have entered, it's going to print. So let's execute this particular piece of code and let's see how it runs. So what I am doing is it's asking me to enter a line of text. Let us again enter some message. Welcome to UK. That means UK stands for Uttarakhand, not United Kingdom. So what is going to happen is this get care is reading one character at a time and the pointer is copying each of the characters and starting to copy from the zeroth location of name till the end of this particular K. Once I enter K, I decide to press the enter key. So when I decide to press the enter key, the ASCII value of I is equal to this. So this not equal to fails and I'm going to give a null character at the location referred by the pointer. And then when I print line of text, it is going to print welcome to UK. A common mistake which students make is you forget to put brackets here. Suppose you remove this bracket. See what is going to happen now. You are going to end up in a problem because of not understanding precedence correctly. Which has higher precedence? Not equal to or assignment? Not equal to as higher precedence. So whatever get care reads, okay, some random thing is going to be compared with not equal to. And that value is going to get assigned to i. So, but I don't want that. I want the value of i to be compared with not equal to enter key. So by doing this, first get care reads a character. That character is copied to i. Since assignment is operator, it gives some value. So that value happens to be the ASCII value of whatever is entered, the first character. That is compared with slash n. If I use get care without the bracket, then since it compares with not equal to, as long as it's not equal to n, it will compare it as true or false. So if it is for true, it will return a non-zero value. If it is false, it will return a zero value. So every time either zero or one will get copied to i. So if you want, I can just show you this, what is going to happen by removing this. You will see the problem yourself. Okay, just try it out yourself. Enter a line of text. Hello, error. Okay, now just see what happens. See, nothing got copied because every time it was not equal to null, sorry, not equal to new line. So it was returning true, true was one. So one just kept returning and kept getting assigned to i and i started getting assigned one. But one is a non-printable character. You cannot see the output of ASCII value one. So what happened here is although the thing got copied, but the wrong thing got copied because you forgot to put this particular 
parenthesis. So this is really, really important. If you forget the precedence, this program is not going to produce the correct output for you.